station is Cobbett Square. Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at the Vex house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I know. I'm a screw-up. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's just hanging out. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. We shouldn't bother Vivek's dad. He's poorly. He's got, um, gingivitis or something. Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Are you happy now? Let's... Just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times. But she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. You're very quiet. Is something the matter? I'm fine. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. I promise. Nothing to worry about. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Very good. Can we go now? You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing wrong? Look into my eyes. I'm fine. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too.
You seen that Bill and Wendy are going out together? I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Oh, she's fine, don't worry. How was it last night? Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? How can you think of food right now? We've been here all night. I'm pretty hungry too. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. Cool. Becky, you stay here. Me and Viv will head out. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. All right. Whatevs. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. So, you and Vivek stayed up the entire night. What did you get up to? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? Of course not. Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really? Becky, I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Mr Hughes is going to kick off if we have much more time off school. Screw school, it's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah, uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi, can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Listen, we just want this stuff and we'll leave. If you want to dob us into our school, go ahead. We don't care. Oh, maybe a little. I'm just pulling your leg, girls. I did my fair share of skiving when I was your age. But I can't say you this knife. You're not old enough. Oh, come on. Sorry. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? We could ask you the same question. Bold. Don't back chat to me. You two are in a lot of trouble. Hang on a second. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Piss off. I got us out of that, didn't I? Yeah, well done. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Whoa! Out of nowhere? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it probably would be weird. You're right. That's what I thought too at first. But opposites can attract, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. You've gone quiet. 
What? Don't be weird. What's going on? Sorry. I'm just worried about the stranger and stuff. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Shit! We forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Oi! No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. If it's any consolation, we did manage to get hold of a box cutter and a bunch of cable ties. Okay. I guess we can time up a bit more securely. Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. Can we be sure he won't bust out of these restraints? Who knows what he's capable of? Yeah, but these are double thick zip ties. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Yeah. You go get some sleep. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger! We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Okay, see you guys later. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. This is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. But I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Not much of a talker, are you? Oh, come on, say something. Just so I know you don't have brain damage. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us. Is Becky your friend? So you can speak, and apparently you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Oh, you do? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Yep. That's Becky. So, you don't really know her then? Could I stretch my legs a moment? Never gonna happen. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. You... gonna tell me what they were talking about? My legs are stiff. Okay, quit whining. You can stretch your legs as long as you're more cooperative from now on. I can try. All right. Keep your hands where I can see them. No funny business.
So, what were Becky and Vivek talking about? They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? Not really. Just trying to make conversation. It's not going well. Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this? Therapy? Please. I get enough of that from my sister. Emma? How'd you... You mentioned her last night. <sighs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. I'm interested. You know how condescending that sounds? It's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. All I did was forget to send a text message and she explodes. Completely over the top. Sounds like you hate her. No, that's a bit much. No, I don't know. Family, eh? You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Last night, when you made the water glow, what was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Come on, what was it? Some sort of magic trick? If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Okay, go for it. Come a little closer. Hey! Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you all right, Donna? He was just about to show me his superpowers, weren't you? Okay, getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Viv would have believed me. Viv thinks the Queen is a lizard. I don't think that counts for much. Is he on his way? No, I texted to say he was in ship with his dad. I hope he's okay. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. Everyone but us? Sorry, I got to head home. We can talk about it tomorrow when Viv's here. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh, she's not looking for me, is she? I'm sorry I'm late. I uh, had to stay behind at school. No. She's just feeling a little anxious. Nothing to do with you. Okay. Well, I'm off to bed. See ya. How was school today? Yeah, good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. No, I had netball after school. I'm thinking of trying out for the team. Where's your school bag, Donna? I don't know. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been playing netball after school, apparently. How's Mum? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Just, Ash said she was poorly. I said she's fine. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. 
Hey, it's a free country. I can do what I like. I've enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I thought you said you were playing netball. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Bex, leave a message. Why is your phone off? Call me back when you get this. I'm on my way over. back here just checking in come on I'll take over you go to that party seriously yeah you did the night shift last night it's only fair awesome the stranger behave himself yeah fine you heard from Viv I wonder if he can make Moises too I don't care. Go and ask him. Sounds like you'll both have a great time. I'll give him a call. Phone working now, then? What? I called you on the way over here. Check your voicemail. I left a message. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I don't want to talk about it. Is it your sister? Are you thick or something? Oh, get the hint. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get something straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. Why are you giving it to me? Why didn't you just escape? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. I really wish you hadn't have come. So I followed you down here. 
waited outside to see if you'd come out. Oh, please don't freak out. I can fix this. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second. I can explain everything. 